Oh, don't get in the bottom. This week, we're going kingy fishing right out in front of Sydney, one of the world's most beautiful harbour cities. We're cutting a path past the iconic Harbour Bridge and Opera House, and then straight out through the heads. So what do you do when you find the bait? You find the fish. Beautiful. And if we get some good squid... We're going straight to the kingy spots. But we're not just chasing kings. We're on a mission from New South Wales Fisheries to tag a big one, so we can learn more about their migration and growth rates, which is vital for sensible fisheries management. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get this done fairly quick. So yeah. Turn around. I'll stay still. Just blow this fin. Yeah, and push in and just push and turn. That's it. So the hunt is on for a big king. 80 centimetres plus is what we need. Sydney Harbour oh, is yeah, full of life. So catching a king. Shouldn't be too hard, except there's one little problem. We've got Cooper McGlash and my young fella, and he's dying to show up his old man and catch the big fish on his own. He's so small, I don't think we should put it on the board. Look how small this is. Who right. hasn't caught a fish yet? I don't know. Man. It's going to be a bit of competition between him and I, and normally he ends up winning. Dad's a oh, bit man. salty right now. Bugger. I think he's getting a bit competitive. This isn't fair. Fishing is my life. It's in my DNA. From above the water and below the surface. It's who I am. Oh, yeah. Join me as I travel the world in search of the most insane fishing experiences on the planet. Nowhere comes in, smashes my barra. Oh, yeah! You're in for it now, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at the size of it. And the boat, Alex, and start to the boat. I'm Al McGlushin, and this is Fishing with Boat. <laughs> this week, we're kingy fishing right out of Sydney Harbour. And I'm doing it with my young fella, Cooper. Cooper McGlashan, like me, was born with a fishing rod in his hand. I tell you what, this kid is a gun. Yeah. This trip is all about teaching Coops the important role that anglers play in conservation and aiding researchers in unlocking the secrets of the ocean. We used to just catch fish to eat them, but these days anglers play an essential role as custodians of the ocean, looking after the fish we're so passionate about. It's thanks to anglers that the New South Wales tagging program is now the largest tagging program in the world, with hundreds of thousands of tag fish swimming around. Everything from billfish to sharks gets tagged. But when it comes to kingfish, it's not any old kingy that we want, it's only the big ones that we need to tag. So the yellowtail kingfish, it's found right across the Pacific Ocean, from Japan to Mexico, and back down to New Zealand. But Australia's east coast, right here in front of Sydney, is a hot spot for these inshore heavyweights. Known as yellowtail to the rest of the world, the Aussies and the Kiwis affectionately call them kingies. Kingfish are the inshore hoodlums of fishing. They fight hard, bringing many anglers to their knees and even tears. Oh, this is not fun, this is hard work. So when it comes to catching kingfish, especially in areas like Sydney where they get a lot of pressure, you know, You've got to get the bait and you've got to get up there first. Early morning, you generally get a better bite, but also you've got other boats. You've got to compete with other guys. If they're there first, they're going to get the bite first. Pressure's always on when, you, when you're chasing these kingfish. So live bait's the key. You've got to go and get your bait. So where are we going now? First thing, you've got to get squid, mate. So what do you do when you find the bait? You find the fish. Beautiful. And if we get some good squid, we're going straight to the kingy spots. Kingy spots, I like it. Big kingy spots. Yes. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get some bait. We'll go out the front, beautiful Sydney, and see if we can catch some kings and see if we can catch a half decent one and let it go. Maybe you can tag it. So one of the most important things for catching kingies is live squid. Big squid equals big kings. I reckon it's harder catching the bait than it is catching the fish. 
Well, you don't know yet. So when it comes to fishing deep water for squid, you use a Padnoster ring. Jigging them across the bottom, bang, we're onto the squid. It's always good when they don't even fit in the net. Like, look at the size of it. Look at it. The biggest problem when you catch these big squid, and these are good sized squid, is do we eat it ourselves or do we feed it to the kingies? You know, could it be too big to give to a kingie? Nah, I'm going to feed it to the kingies first. And if I don't catch one, then I'll use it for dinner. Let's go catch a big one. So we've got the bait. We've raced straight up to the spot where everyone's been getting fish. Start fishing, it's looking good. You know, the sound of the Furuno's lit up with big marks, which they're the kingfish. Do you think we could get a bite? We couldn't even get a touch. They were shut down big time. All right, bombs away. Where is my squid? My squid's going down. Everything looks so good, but some days the fish just don't play ball. Disappointed, we headed back to the harbour. So we're just running off North Head and we marked a bit of bait down deep and just thought we'll give it a quick crack and see what happens. So we re-rig, or Cooper re-rigs, back in, round two, Cooper casts in. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, put him on. Got it. Oh, oh, yeah, put him on, got him on. He's on again before I even get a chance. And this time, it's screaming off. This is going to be a big salmon. A little Sambo, mate. Doing better than me. I didn't even get a follow. Said you'd catch them on those little alcos. Good fight. I think this is much bigger than we think. I think the drag's pretty low on it as well. That's all right. Got a nice weight on him. You put too much weight on him before, so nice and steady, mate. Nice and steady. He's tired. He doesn't come up like a salmon yet. He stayed down. Hmm. I think that's a king. King? No. Yes. King. Yeah! All right. Yeah, right. Now, you'd think if your dad was very switched on, he'd have a net. Yeah! Got the tail. There we go. There we yes, go. we got him! <laughs> Told you it was a kingy. You did. Look at it. Nice little one as well. You liked it. You picked those bloody lures, didn't you? You said that's the one. Oh, yeah. That. Good catch. Well, it's size too, eh? You'd be sized. Yeah. That was probably a five-minute fight, but good fight. Nice and, like, hard. We hope it works hard for a pretty small fish, but come on, when you see one of these... On light tackle, it's good. And the only thing you do is let him go when it's like that. Yep. All right, my little friend. He was a good-sized fish, but unfortunately, he wasn't big enough to tag. So, day one, well, it's a tough day on the Kings. You know, there's not much we can say. The only thing is, and the good part, is it's calamari for dinner. Tomorrow, we'll catch the kings. Coming up, we rig up and head out again for round two on the kings. There you go, mate. So we're starting early for day two. And better still, it's not just Coops and I, but my old mate Jim Penny's come along as well. So what we'll do is today, we're gonna to do a similar thing, I reckon. We're gonna go and have another crack at those kings. But we'll go and get some bait. And I've got some bread, so we'll just, I think we'll just anchor up, get some yakas, maybe some slimies if they're there, and then do all the inshore reefs, you know, just have a look and see. I heard they're up on the top. We have to go and catch more squid because we ate it all last night. So first step, we need to go and get those big calamari, those southern calamari, because that's the key. All right, boys, just off on the edge. Let's see what the John Dory is. Coops is on. There you go, you got him now. Let's go. You played with that for a while, Coops. Oh. He's a smaller one, is he? Oh, probably for here, but... Squid's a squid, squid, small squid. Don't lose it. Come on, baby. Point him straight at your old man. Yep, got colour here, Dad. Radio. Nice one. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Big one. That is a big squid. All right, I lied to you and said it wasn't a big one. That is That's big. We hit pay dirt. We got the big squid. That's one of the, my better squids. That's funny, eh? It's in the middle of nowhere out here. That's why I let him grab the squid. I'll put him in the tank. Let's go back down for another one. We get into Long Reef, which is a famous kingy spot, and there's boats everywhere. It's like a car park. And you know what? I've got a rule on my boat. Go big or go home. So I picked the biggest squid, and I'm talking like this. Rigged him up, double circles, two VMCs. That is a bait. Yeah, he was going to get something massive with that. You know what? Go big or go home. If you catch a fish on that, half of it's mine because it's my bait. Yep, you just keep telling yourself that. This is it. No, it's not. We don't even get it by. We get, we get nothing. There's a few hooking up, but we're still drawing blanks. So this time, the fish aren't even marking up. You know, we're not seeing them on the fish finder at all. But we did see some surface action. Oh, there, there's the bait. There's another fish down it. below them uh, there as well. Yeah. There's a bit, there's not a lot on the screen. Come on, I want my big squid to go. So the key is keep moving. But we keep moving. We go from spot to spot to spot. I'm in now. You are oh, in? Radio. And they're just shut down. We're not even finding the fish. It's looking like we're going to end up with a day of donuts. Zeros. No kings at all. Can't believe you haven't had a bite yet. Me neither. They're right up on top, too. Yep, you got one, haven't you? You're on? Keeps you on? Put your oh, bail on. Oh. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Oh, it might be that little. And you said I wasn't good, Dad. Hey, girls out. No, 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 no girls. Don't, don't. Okay, you want a double? Just hooked up. On a, what do you got, Coops? Here. Yeah, yellow tails there, so. Oh, oh, yellow tail. Take it, take it, take it. This guy is not pulling at all. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one for Cooper. That's not minus one. That was a half decent fish, too, Coops. Oh, I'm on you. Oh, oh, here we go. Woohoo. Kingy, mate. He's going straight to the bottom. Yeah, this is the king. I've seen him hit it. Oh, I'm sort of winning. I think he might be beating me. A little bit bigger. Oh, here he is. Oh, yeah, he's a nice he's a better one. better fish, mate. Well done. You give me a stick, I tell you. It might nearly be legal, this one. It's all right, we'll let him go. Oh. There you go, mate. Oh. Oh, the hook oh. just fell out. I thought he was going to put me in the bottom. See that? Didn't let him go, Coops. Kept him on. At, at least they've actually caught me. <laughs> and, and they've actually been big. Where? Yeah, where, mate? Other times. Oh. While the other guys were trolling live baits, couldn't resist and flicked out a Halco rooster popper. Ah, on the popper. When it comes to catching kingies, it's match the hatch. Light tackle special. So, light tackle little kings, that is some serious oh, fun. Come on. Geez, they're good fun on that light gear. Oh, fun's the word I'd be using for at the moment. Bloody painful. Oh, don't get in the bottom. Oh, this is not fun. This is hard work. Not a lot of support from that side of the boat. Light tackle special. Good fish, Dad. May only be a rat, but good fight. That's the thing, they match the hatch when they're on the top like that. Mm. Look at that. What a beautiful little fish, you know? He's so small, I don't think we should put it on the board. Look how small this is. Who right. hasn't caught a fish yet? I don't know, mate. It's... Bad luck for you, mate. It's the fact I fished for what? I three agree. Seconds? I'm three gonna seconds? I'm going to I hooked up two casts. You're actually fishing for about 10, 20 minutes because you were, you were there driving. Talk it up as much as you want. I still caught one on a popper. There you go, my little friend. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hey, good oh. work. You need one, Coops. Yeah, got colour here. Oh. He looks like a good one as well. Oh, look at him up for me. Oh, they're chasing me out of the boat. Yeah, Dad, got colour here. You got colour already? Yep, he looks like a good it took fish. took me ages to catch it before. I think I may be beating you if I get this one, Dad. Good work, mate. Nice and steady. Yeah, the worst part. Oh! Did you snap him off? No, the lure come back. How many fish you lost now? Hey, how many fish you lost now? Coops, is that another one? At least he's good at catching bait. I thought dads were supposed yeah, to be supportive. Good bait, mate, because you're not catching any fish. 
Good work, Coops. Hooked more than you, though. Yeah. Oh, there's one. You're on fire, mate. <laughs> He's not very big. Oh, now he wants to play up. You want one that's a real big one, mate, that's swimming in with you. All right. Not quite the size we came for. To start. They're only rats, but you know what? How much fun are they to catch? Yeah, they're great. You're one up. Cooper's minus two because he keeps losing them. <laughs> Not minus two. All right, my little friend. Time to go back. Coming up, we head into the danger zone. <laughs> oh, Trevelli <laughs> master! Oh, Jim and I have points on the board, but we haven't seen anything from young coops yet. And we still haven't caught a kingfish worthy of tagging. So we pull in close to the rocks, start fishing, and you know what? All of a sudden there's all these fish rippling on the surface. Big school of trevally or salmon, I couldn't tell what it was initially, but you know what? Straight away, we're into the kings. Now, they're only small fish, but on light tackle, especially right up against the rocks, we're in for some serious fun. <laughs> oh, Trevelli master! I'm hoping we can get away from everyone a little bit here. Right up on the sharks here. Oh, there we go. I One don't think on. it's not a salmon. You think it's the right kind of thing? Oh yeah, I think it might be. Right species. Chip casting <laughs> master. That's a bit low. Trying to knock me fish off. That's a king. This oh. is like extreme fishing. I reckon I get more points for this. Where are you, little buggers? I think it might be a little king. This is whitewater fishing, boys. Yeah. King? Uh, I don't know. It might be. Oh, little king. It's right there. There's heaps of them. Coops, quick, get your lure. It's all under the boat here, mate. There's heaps oh, of them with you. Oh, here we go. Oh, there they are. Heaps oh, of them watch on mine. Here he goes. He's on the top. Hey, Coops, you might even catch one. Maybe. All righty. And guess what? It was caught on my rod. Man, catching them in this type of water, I tell you what, just landing it with this in this swell is not an easy. I can't even reach the bloody thing with this swell. Oh, stay still, buddy. Turn me up. There you go. It was harder catching him on the bottom. <laughs> Look at him. You know what? How's that? You know, the wind's come up and we're going home. And, oh, it's a couple of birds. We'll have a quick cast. Try to get a salmon, get another king. It doesn't matter what size they are. They're always fun to catch, even in this beautiful, calm condition. <laughs> Look at Especially it. Especially on this light gear, they're unreal. It's unreal, isn't it? Yeah. All right, buddy. When you're fishing in a boat close to the rocks, it's all about situation awareness. You've got to know what's going on around you. But you should never turn the engine off, Coops. No. And it's like this. Keep your Merc running. That's the advantage of a four-stroke. You can always move. I might move this back down on that edge a bit more. Especially because if a rogue wave comes up and you don't only have to turn on your motor, you're in a bit of trouble. There's no such thing as a rogue wave. It's a rake. It's the wave you didn't read. You want someone behind the wheel. You want the engine running just in case so you can react. And that way, you stay alive. Play it safe and there'll be no problems. It's unreal how you sit so close to the rocks like this yeah. and yet the current's pulling us around the edge. So with a good session of little kingies, you know what, we're thinking about going home. But then, a look at the tide, we've got the tide change within a couple of hours. Now, the prime time for big kings, the tide change. So instead of going home, we turned around and went back to one of the spots and started fishing again. We still need that big kingie. But finally, it was Coops' time to shine. Yep, yep, yep. Got him this time. Yeah, he's got him. I haven't. I haven't. The frick? 
Yeah. It was filling up a squid because it's just pulling it, sort of it. Maybe if it yeah, hooked a squid or something. Yeah, this is really weird. It's a rat king. What? It's a little rat kingy. Hey, he's a rat king. Oh, he's not he's that not small. not that small. <laughs> stay still, stay still. Another big one. You gonna put a tag in or is it big enough? Nah, he's not small. He's not big enough to you tag. I said I was useless. There we go. His size. There you go, buddy. You know, these are good fish. They're not monsters, but they're still good fish. I want a proper one that we can tag. And guess what? Cooper hooks up again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Coops. Oh, yep, you're on. He's on. Yep. Quick, quick. Light up, Coops. Lift, lift, lift. <laughs> lift, wind down. That's it. Yeah, Keep going. going. That's it. Watch yourself on the braid. Just nice and steady, Coops. That's what we want. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Oh, yep, you're on. You're on. Yep. Light up, Coops. Lift, lift, lift. <laughs> lift, wind down. Watch yourself on the braid. Just nice and steady, Coops. That's what we want. When it comes to hooking kings down deep, you give them a tiny bit of line, because on a circle hook, it's going to lock into that corner of the jaw. But you've got to give them a bit of line. But you can't give them too much line, because you don't want to oh, end okay. up in the reef. So the minute you come tight, you lock up, you load up, you hang on, and you get that fish off the bottom. Good work, Coops. Whatever it takes, you get it up. One it's a brutal fish, battle. That's the way, Coops. Good work, you little tin ass. But it's short and fast. If you let him get that line, you're in the reef. That's it, keep lifting. Lift it nice and steady. Put it up under your arm if it's easier. That's it, keep going, mate. Good work, mate. Keep that bend. That's it. Oh, yeah, blood colour. Yep, beautiful. So Coops is hanging on, he's cranking it up, he gets it up. And it's a solid king. Yeah! And you know what we're gonna do, Coops? We might even put a tag in him. Oh yeah. Let him go. I can't believe you got busted off, broken off, lost some pulled hooks, and you still end up with the biggest king of the day. <laughs> so what do you reckon, mate? You wanna let him go? Tag him. After we see how big he is. What do you reckon? She'd probably go... I'm saying 90. Yeah, he's pushing 90, 80. Ooh, oh, you're almost going to get 90 no. there. What are you, 80? No, 88. 88. 88. So tags up there, Coops. The big keys, they're the breeding fish. They don't taste as good as the smaller ones, but you know what? If we start tagging them, we can learn about them. And I really wanted today, especially with Cooper, is to get him to tag a fish because that's for the next generation. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get this done fairly quick. So I'm yep. turning around. Oh, stay still, stay still. Just blow this fin. Yep, and push in and just push and turn. That's it. There you go, and turn. Yep. Beautiful. There we go. Stay still. That's and you've got to do it nice and quick. You've got to support them like that. Yep. Hold them up. The tag's in beautiful. Woo! 80, was it 88? 88. Yeah, getting back in the water. You want me to let him go for you? Yep, let's do it. All right, here we go. There you go, buddy. Go. Oh. The best part of the day is that Coop's got to tag and release so the next generation are setting the example, tagging that big key and letting it go. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. At least yeah. I'm good at letting them go for you. Well done, mate. 85. 88. Good work. Good work. Oh. You and I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so since we said that catching the most doesn't really count, it's the biggest one, that basically means I'm the winner. Right, I, get out I'm, of the way. I'm, I'm, I'm close. Get away. I'm going to catch one now. 
Dad's a bit salty right now. I think he's getting a bit competitive. Oh, man. Bugger. I would say he's a bad loser because he's now having a temper tantrum and he doesn't like losing. <laughs> this isn't fair. Yep, got the fish and now I've won. So the great thing about today, yes, Cooper's a tin ass and always catches all the fish and the biggest fish, but for me, the greatest part is that we took out the next generation, Coops went out there, tagged that big kingy and let it go. So it's still swimming around. This is what fishing with mates is all about. There's one. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ooh. Here we go, we'll help you. <laughs>